everyone, this is Abraham, founder of Designer's Bookshop and creator of Grid Calculator. In this video, I'm going to be showing you Grid Calculator Pro Edition, a really powerful tool for creating grid-based professional layout in Adobe InDesign. So um, the first thing that you're going to notice when you install the plugin is that it creates a menu called Designer's Bookshop. And inside there is the plugin. So uh, let me start up the plugin and give you a quick overview and explain how things work. As you can see, it uh, automatically created a document for me, and uh, it, base, it bases that uh, the document dimensions of the setting that is set into File, Document Setup. And as you can see here, this is the document dimensions for A3. And it also fetches the information if it's facing pages or not. So uh, you got different sections here. For example, you got document dimensions and letting here. You got different paper sizes and some web sizes that we've included as well. And you have the letting. For example, if I enter 12.5, it automatically calculates the 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 correct letting as you can see here to the right which is 12.532 points and applies it to the document. So uh, you also have horizontal offset here which is 8.862 points and the number of document lines which is 95 here. And you've got proportions here. You can enter any proportion that you want and it will update on the entire document. And you've also got font size and image lines. So let's say I want to select Adobe Garamond Italic from the list here. And I chose Italic because I want to show you a new feature that I've invented called L-Height, which is um, a real cool technique. And uh, before I go further, I want to show you margins and columns because this is a really powerful section of the plugin. Now uh, you have the top, bottom, inside and outside margins and these actually snap to the grid. And you also got the columns, secondary columns, sub-columns, rows, fit to margins or pages and different colors of the guides. And uh, I'm going to be showing you more of that later. And you also got preferences which you can ex uh, explore on your own and collapse which actually is a great little smart feature for hiding the plugin while working with it. So uh, let's get back here. So let's say that I want 10, 10 points for text size. And as soon as I press enter or tab, it's going to scan the height of the characters F and L. So uh, let's go ahead and apply the L height. And I'm going to show you exactly how that works in a minute or so. So um, let's go to margins, columns, and row. If I click here, it's actually going to jump five steps. And as you can see, it uh, have set the top margin. So look here at the bottom as well when I edit this bottom margin. And also for the inside and the outside. So um, let's select a column. Now this is really powerful because here it displays all the possible uh, combinations that which you can uh, choose from. So let's see if we can find something that we like here. Let's select three main columns and uh, if I check sub columns here and select one of these from the menu it actually splits the the width of the column and this is great when you're going to be working with index pages and so on and you also got the rows of course so um, let me see if I can find one alright and then you got also these uh, these options here for example you can see how much it is in line values and in millimeters inches, points, picas. Okay, so uh, 
There's also a nice feature here which uh, creates all the layers for you and names them accordingly. And the information that you've uh, selected here is also entered in a paragraph style which is created. Let me open that up and show you. So as you can see it remembers the font, the font style, the size and the correct letting so that you don't have to manually do this and this and this really saves you a lot of time and of course it also aligns all the lines to the grid so let me put on some text here and show you the thing with the L, uh, L height And as you can see, it fits perfectly. So, if I were to only include F height, it would be problematic when you were going to use italic fonts. Let me show you, because you got a little section here of the of the character that hangs below the baseline. So let me remove the L height and apply the F height. Now, as you can see, this doesn't look very good. So, let's get back to L height. Now, when you remove uh, image lines, you have to go and uh, set the rows again. Okay, so um, let's enter some text here. So, if you were to say that uh, that you don't want that you want to change the font or whatever, you can do that, and it automatically updates the paragraph style as well. So it, this is a tool that is very flexible. Now you still have to go and uh, apply the image lines again. So let's select F height for this uh, this time. And uh, once you've done uh, all your settings that you're happy with, you can uh, save it as a preset and you can always open it up and get back to it again. Here you can see that it creates the master pages so uh, and it names it accordingly so that if you open up older documents you're going to be able to identify which is the new master page and the new layers and paragraph styles without mixing it up with the, uh, the ones that were in the old document. So if I say this and if I go to and open the plugin again it's going to ask me do you want to edit the current open document or create a new one or do you want to lock the size document size and uh, create a document copy so that you don't overwrite the original one you know what I'm gonna select create document copy and this actually opens up the save as so and as you can see, it created a new master page here. So I can go on and edit it and uh, do whatever design I like. This is basically how the plugin works.